Welcome back to seat time, guys. I'm Woody. Yes, the jorts are on. We're back in the garage as unorganized as possible. But organization is one of the things that we are going to talk about. So I am getting ready to go to the Grinduro, which is a two-day ride in West Texas. The thing with that is it could be really cold. It could be really warm. You have no idea what to expect when you go. So because of that, you've got to be extremely prepared. And when you try to be prepared, you bring all kinds of gear with you. And then you have no idea what it is, where it is, how unorganized. I love this 9800, but the problem is it is a vast cavern. And so if I just wanna take one thing out, I can't do it. I have to pull all of this out. That's a problem. We're gonna solve it today. Let's get organized. I wanted to show you guys this awesome thing that my wife found. So this collapsible dirty clothes hamper. So we're gonna take these clothes right back out. But the cool thing is that little guy folds up in there, boom. And when you get ready to take your gear off, you can just shove everything in here. Maybe, let's just go with the underwear and the shirt. Ugh, all the things. And then boom, you've got yourself a dirty clothes hamper to go wash your gear, folds up nice, and stays right there organized in your gear bag. If nothing else, this is one thing to take away that you need from this video. First thing, I've got this awesome little bag here that helps me with what is going on in my glove. But if you get your gloves, fold them up, put them in this bag nicely. You can even have these EVS palm protectors, which I am gonna be doing. I've got tons of palm protectors on the way. I am gonna be doing an entire video on that. Those boots are just gonna go in there like you would expect. Because it's gonna be so cold, I wanna make sure I've got my little bit thicker pants and the Fly Racing Patrol jersey, a little bit thicker. It can also get a little bit warmer. So because of that, I wanna make sure that I've got just some regular riding gear as well. So we wanna have two pairs of riding gear in case we wind up going over the handlebars. Oh. Now I've got two gear, two sets of gear right here, ready to go inside in that awesome vast cavern. I'm gonna need underwear. Actually, if we wanna get even crazier, we could roll these up. This is an old windbreaker that I've had for years and it has some of the sleeves that go on the outside of it. I love this. It's a windbreaker and it helps break the wind. It's holy crap, where are we gonna put knee braces? So those re knee braces really need a spot to fit, but they don't wanna get too, too much pressure. So let's do this. Boom. Boom. And we could even say that now we've kind of got a little bit of room that we could shove pieces and parts around up in there. So this, I'm gonna kind of put here so I can shove it down a little bit more because of the fact that I've got these knee braces, I don't wanna to put too, too much pressure on. So we see, and then we got, I've just got my one pair of goggles. I wish I had more pairs of goggles, but I don't. Shoved in there. I would think that I would be able to fit two days worth of clothes, two days worth of riding gear, be gone for four days, but it's like, what in the heck? This thing is so cavernous. So we could even get a little bit crazier by shoving more things in the helmet, more things in the boots, and that way we could start to pack things inside of stuff because those boots take up a lot of space. So that's a way that we could get a little bit crazier if we wanted to fit more in this bag. Now let's look at the 9900 and see how we can organize some of this stuff in that bag. I think you could do a lot of the same thing. So we've kind of got our helmet, we pull our helmet out, keep the goggles in there, We'll get the boots in the boots compartment because that's what the boot compartment is for. This might want to go first just because of the fact that you don't need it until last. Our gloves can go in this awesome little front spot right here to make sure they don't get too, too smushed. Put these guys up top. So this is going to have to go in here with the boots. Riding jacket on top. This bag seems like it has more room now than that bag. I could continue to shove more things in this because of the way that it is designed. So that's something to think about too, between a 9900, which unfortunately isn't available anymore, or a style of bag like this against something like the 9800 rig. Something to think about. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this, but I have to ask, does it even matter? Are you guys just so worried about riding your dirt bike that organizing your gear bag does not make any sense to you? That's okay if it does, but if you're crazy, even more weird than me, and you have other ways to organize your gear bag, I would like to know them. Others would like to know them. Help them out by dropping that in the comments below. If you want to grab links to any of the things that you saw in this video, I'll also have those in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed getting some seat time. We don't get a chance to see you on the trail, but at least we'll see you on the internet. Peace!